Okay, folks. Well, welcome back to Colour in Your Life. And where are they now? And we are with the fabulous Justine Martin from down in Victoria. Justine, how are you doing? I'm fantastic. Yes, you are. I was just on your website having a look at uh, what you do. And you're an unbelievably dynamic human being. I mean, you've obviously got a lot of problems with your health, uh, but you've really overcome that. And I'm actually just looking at your website now about the fact that you're the Oz mumpreneur of the of the year and you've won multiple words for you speaking not just your art but you're speaking as well tell yeah. me a little bit about that uh so i was nominated for uh 15 awards this year and out of those 15 awards um i won coach of the year for uh -huh. victoria in the osmompreneurs i also took out silver in disabled excellence and creative entrepreneur surprise surprise on that one um, <laughs> and bronze on business pivot and overcoming the odds and on recently as on saturday night i won um gold in creative artist of the year for the raw awards so it's been a it's been a big year graham so That's fantastic really congratulations so how long ago was it that we actually came in and filmed you? Uh, that would have been, uh, you came and filmed me in about July 2017. And uh, I think we went to air uh, in October 2017. So uh, four years ago. So in a sense, what has happened? Well, we can see what's happened in between time. But what's happened with your art career in between time? Oh, my God. Where do I start? It is just boomed it's like you know the little snowball at the top of the hill and it's it's just gained momentum um so when you came and filmed me i had uh, the gallery just art gallery which is part of a very large cafe and um i was just getting back into to painting i'd started doing a little bit of finger painting and um i was at the end of my chemo um with my health so you know i was i had big plans but um, my body was stopping me at that particular time and then got the all clear that i was in remission and right. and now i'm teaching art wellness classes four or five days a week to other disabled uh, people in the studio here and um i'm about to launch a new business called Van Gogh Decal. so my artwork um so like these lips here going on decals oh, yeah. that will go on to mobility scooters and wheelchairs and caravans and camper vans and, and oh. big, big stuff like that um i'm doing finger painting for grown-ups so um when i lost the ability to hold a a paintbrush and a pen in 2000 and early 2017 and you know i developed finger painting that has actually just escalated and i do a lot of finger painting um paintings now and everyone's like well how do you do that and i'm like well you know i'm going to do workshops on this so you know three days three three um three to four uh, lessons a week um classes are for that one and you know something like like this is finger yeah. painted you love the frogs, don't you? <laughs> I love frogs. Yes, as you can see, I was on this side. You know, that one's finger painted on there. So uh, I, I love my frogs. And oh, um, yeah. you had frogs everywhere. It was amazing. Yeah, yeah, so, and I have real frogs. <laughs> <laughs> and the real frogs are still here and um i'm doing like peltea workshops as well so i don't know if you've heard of peltea it's a cement modeling compound and so you can make sculptures so i've made um giraffes that are like five foot six high that are bright colors because I, I just love bright colors and and so you know i'm doing a whole lot of sculptures and that now and and so like oh cool that looks great day of the dead yeah, well, Frida crossed with the Day of the Dead. And, oh, yes, that's true. Yeah, oh, and so she's made from cement. Okay, but it's, it's obviously light cement. Well, it's hollow. Okay, oh, well. But you go. make an armature with aluminium foil and whatever. I normally hit the recycle bin and whatever I can find in the recycle bin goes in the middle of them. So, um, but the giraffes end up weighing, you know, close to 100 kilos and, and they're big oh. and they're bright and they're bold. And, and so, yeah, art-wise, like, I'm flourishing. It's, um, you know, I've got commission work coming in all of the time. Um, I've just written and illustrated my first children's book and I've had two contracts come back from that. Oh, fantastic. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm working out whether I'm going self-publishing or whether I'm going to go with a publisher and 
And then from that, I've got a range of um, linen coming out and a stuffed toy and limited edition prints and cards. So, you know, I've, I've looked at my brand and gone, um, well, how can I get it out to the public? And, you know, especially during COVID because galleries and everything are closed. It's like, okay, well, how can I, how can I take my brand out there and um, get as much out, art out there as, as possible? So... That's, that's about where I'm up to at the moment. And then there's the other side of my business, which is um, resilience consulting and, and helping others um, get through adversities in their life. And, and you're doing a lot of public speaking these days as well. Yeah, lots, lots of public speaking um, on resilience and, and my story as well, because remembering that, you know, 10 years ago, I was told by a medical professional that I'd never be able to work again and had never done like formal art classes or anything prior to that and um, went and did some art classes at a community centre and then went to a college and did a certificate through there and um, it's just grown it's it's just really grown and I'm I'm producing big artworks on ply boards that are going on fences and there's just so much to it so you know i'll have a crack at anything it's like well yeah i can do that let me give that a go and uh, and see where it takes me so and you know employing the family in that as well to help me um i never thought that that was ever going to be possible but it, it definitely is and you oh, know, what, a help. what a fantastic story this really really wonderful to to hear from you and see you again and uh, you're the type of lady that i take uh take uh, advice from as well because you're so resilient in what you do and you, ne you don't let anything get you down and you know as, as people know i've got a bit of a problem myself at the moment so we're a two piece in the pod there but i'd really like to thank you for, for spending some time with us today and uh, this will go out to our network and uh, they'll get to see you again and uh, we'll catch up soon. You know why we're going to catch up soon, but we'll just keep that a secret for the time being. Anyway. I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. No uh, worries. Thanks, uh, Graham. Bye, darling.